Okay, this is part 9 of my uh, Blender Python tutorial series for the game engine. And in the previous engine we were just looking at the mouse position here. So when I started it and moved the mouse halfway past the screen, it moved that object like that. And then I've added, I've made some changes now to the code. So that's pretty straightforward. But what I've done is I've moved the code in its own into a separate mouse position routine instead of within the keyboard events routine because that was goofing it up in the sense that uh, that would only execute if the I mean I had it down here in the check object position routine and it was only going to execute if this object had moved so now it's all by itself check the mouse position and then I have it up here within main and then also what I've done in here now I've started a, an entry called Spanish dictionary and this will be like our variables Now we could make a variable like this and we could say x is equal to 5.0 and and do something with it you know we could say x plus equals 1.0 like that and it would increment it except however every time it came back through the routine it's going to reset it as 5.0 and so you're really not going to get anywhere so the way to do it is you set these up in uh, dictionary entries and since uh, python dictionaries i kind of like to associate them with a the dictionary so i'll call my first dictionary a Spanish dictionary and two of the terms are Spanish terms so I have I'm defining the word what in English and it has to be a open brace and then in single quotes the word what and then associated with what is the Spanish term followed by this colon and it's K so and that has to be in double quotes because that's a string so then I have a comma and then I do the same thing for we in English I've defined we in single quotes and followed by its a colon to tell you what it means and then nosotros for what we is and then I'm going to define a variable x in here as well just because and I give it a value of 5 so you can mix and match strings and numbers and even equations within a dictionary and then to actually look at the dictionary term I type it in like this Spanish dictionary and then in square brackets the name of the entry in the dictionary what or we or x and they have to be in the single quotes just the way they were defined like that All right and then when I run it since I have this within the mouse position routine so that means when the mouse oh that doesn't really matter it's gonna run anywhere at once it's gonna every time this routine runs it's gonna constantly print it so let's just go see if it does it so I'll just press P and run it and then I'll stop it and go get the console and go see what it does and there it does it's just constantly printed the three entries within that we had set up like that all right so that's all we're really gonna look at in this lesson because this uh, you might check out lesson uh, I might be 17 or 18 in my other Python tutorial series where I cover dictionaries more extensively and uh, basically this allows us to take these values that are defined within a dictionary and using them within another file. Here we're using it within cube object, but within cylinder object we can also come back and reference it as well. And we'll be doing that in future lessons so we can get information between files and the information just kind of is static. It holds its values between files as you go. And we're going to need that because uh, when we do collision detection between objects uh, we'll use dictionary values to store the number of times an object is hit or something of, the, of that nature and uh, so these become really really important so if you're not familiar with them you might look them up online or go check my other videos and because we'll be we'll be needing to use this kind of stuff extensively all right well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson